An Australian customer emailed me tonight and was wondering how he could change the grade of stamps that he had already inventoried. He was a little concerned that he would have to re-enter each uh, stamp all over again. With Easy Stamp, it's a very simple matter to change the grade of stamps already inventoried or to add to them, and it can all be done at once. He told me he collects uh, used and mint copies of each stamp, and he had inventoried all the 2014 Australian issues he had as uh, used very fine, but they should have been entered as mint. He's still working on getting used copies for his collection. Many times used uh, stamps are harder to find than mint uh, stamps for uh, very modern issues. Anyways, let's begin by running an inventory report to show the stamps you currently have inventoried and then use the report view to bulk modify the selected records for all of them. It's quite simple. I'll be working with the Easy Stamp Australia database, but the process is the same regardless of what database you're working with. Let's begin. For this demonstration, I've already inventoried the Australia 24 stamps, uh, 2014 stamps as used. So let's look at the detailed inventory report. So as you can see, here's all the 2014 stamps for Australia, like this gentleman had uh, inventoried. We can look at them as a thumbnail view as well. Let's do that. So we just go to Options, Thumbnail. So there's all the stamps that he'd entered as uh, Mint. So I'll bring the report back up. As you can see, we have them all listed here as Very Fine Used. Let's change them to uh, Very Fine Mint. All we need to do is select the ones that we want to modify by either selecting all, so if you just click in here and do Control A, that selects them all, or you can click and drag, so if you wanted to start from number 4025, you click on that and just drag down and then only these ones would be uh, changed. Or you can you select the first one and then just Control and click, so I'll just Control and click on the ones that I would want to change. And uh, this is especially useful if they're not in consecutive order. Now, once we have the stamps we want to change selected, all we have to do is, is click on the rapid multi entry icon in the toolbar at the top, which is this one here. When you hover over it down here in the taskbar, it'll tell you what it does. So we click on that. And now we change, uh, we want to select the grade that we want to change these to. So let's say we want them as mint never hinged, very fine. The quantity of one is already pre filled. Um, now we have to pay careful attention to this drop down box here because this will determine how the stamps are entered or altered. Right now it says replace grades, data, and inventoried records, which is what we want to use. But there are two other options, whereas, which is uh, do not update uh, inventory records. In other words, don't touch anything that's already inventoried. Or if you wanted to add the mint never hinge grade, you click on add to existing grades. So eventually, if you get the, the used copies, you just go in and add them here. But right now, we're going to leave it at Select uh, Replace Grades. And then we click on Begin. And that's it. So now you can see we have these stamps already entered as used. I'll go to a different report and kind of show you easier here. All right. So here's all the stamps that we have. Some are mint, some are used. If we do a, uh, uh, we can sort it by mint quantity. And there's the ones that we just entered as mint. So as you can see, it's really quite simple. In this way, you can very quickly add to or edit any existing inventoried records. Now, if we wanted to see the report as a thumbnail viewer, we can just hit F6 while we're in the viewer or we can also turn on the um, the, th the preview by going to options and where am I looking for here show image preview and then you can just see each one but again it's very simple matter uh, to change uh, inventory grades in uh, an easy step. Stay tuned to uh, uh, to our channel here for more videos as we'll be adding many more videos. Bye for now.